It's Premier League team of the season. And in this road to glory, we have spent the whole week grinding to save packs so that we could try and get as many of these insane players into our team. And of course, in the Premier League tots, some of or all of the Arsenal team of the season cards. Remember, this road to glory is just once per week grinding up to the big pack opening for each brand new team of the season. And from the first week of team of the season, we had this team and with not too long until the Premier League team of the season was released, I decided some upgrades were absolutely essential. An 84 rated with a team of the week or team of the season player and a Dutch player. All right, I think that's the first bit that's gonna get sub dumped in. That gives us a below. I wanna go and buy that Gertruder. Now that's our team currently. We've got 28 items sold. I was doing a little bit of silver pack method. As you can see, it delivers. Maybe it doesn't anymore, but when I was doing it pre 6 p.m., Korean manager 5k, love that. Let's go and find some of these packs that we've got. And start ripping them open. Some of them aren't the best. We've definitely got a few like little stinker packs here or there. If I could just pack even one team of the season, it would be delightful. Then we'll build the team, go into uh qualifiers with which will help us get some of the which will help us get ollie watkins which we'll use to go into uh champs proper with which will just boost our team superbly lights up on this tradable pack very nice no team of the season though 85 gerard moreno small prime gold players pack could be nice could be nice could be nice no team of the season no boards no dupes either though it's quite nice gonna be good for the uh, spcs that we're gonna be able to complete with this prime gold players pack number two with an 80 plus rated just again obviously i could go and buy some arsenal tots already because they're so cheap <laughs> i can afford them uh, which would be quite nice i suppose 82 plus rated player if this hasn't got blue in it i don't know what we'll have okay it is a it is a lights up though which is nice 83 zh not the best not the best premium election players pack this one's tradable no lights up but a rare gold okay that's all right Liverpool Trippier confirmed. I wouldn't mind a Trippier. Honestly, right now, I'd, like for this account, for where we are on this account, for what's like projected for this account, it's going to get better and better and better as the, the weeks go on because our natural team is going to improve as we go. The first two weeks, three weeks are always going to be like the difficulty. So any single... Oh, and Mbappe. No. Any single... Um, my nan's nice though. Any single Tots card right now is just going to be an upgrade. 100%. Prime mixed players pack. Here we go. Lights up again. We're at least getting good boards out of this. Good fodder. I don't really have like that many. I've got an 81 plus 11. I've got some Premier League packs as well. I don't really have like that many like super. I'm going to keep this Prime X players pack here because I don't want to accidentally open these ones. Got an 80 plus rare gold player. We have got some real nice packs on this account though. Fuertes. An 84 rare gold player. Walkout. Not a team of the season, but a walkout. France. Goalkeeper. <laughs> is this not a duplicate my nan it's loris instead thank god for that 80 by 5 you never know right you never know lights up again brazil edm obviously not casemiro because would be blue right, we've got an 81 by 11 and 85 by 2 the eight premier league players pack this one's tradable as well so we're going to pop this open walk out that's nice not a tots but gonna be david de gea and these are so cheap, but tots are so cheap. So if we can work on getting, like, purchasing a uh, Premier League Arsenal tots or something like that, nice. If I don't get one blue out of all of this, I'll, I will genuinely be a little bit sad, I can't lie. Rare gold pack lights up again. Spain, striker, Iago Aspas, 85. We've got a rare players pack. Come on, EA. Blues, please. No, nope. lights up again, though. Spain, right wing this time. It's just going to be Asensio ultimate pack here we go blue please yes oh it's a hero german no oh, man i mean that's good for coins i thought it was a team of the season oh full bait full bait he's like discard price man but i'll take those ten thousand coins that's for sure oh that is that is actual bait man all right 86 double upgrade come on ea blew me up no not on this one 87 De Gea and 86 Thiago Silva. That's sad. 383 plus players pack. The 1181's got to be the one, man. If, not, if nothing else, that one's got to be the one. Oh, it's unfortunately another Fernando. It's a duplicate. 
two duplicate 83s, 384. There's, there has to be a blue in here, man. There has to be. There has to be. It's another walkout. Spain, TDM, Man City again. It's Rodri. We're getting all the Man City players that are walkouts apart from the Tots. Grealish and Lefalver, they in there as well. We've got a lot of good fodder in this account now, though, which is nice. If there are some SBCs that I do want to do, it won't be a problem. Three more 84 pluses. Come on, EA. Oh, it's an 86 Tiago Silva duplicate. I have got five quick sell recoveries available on this account, so I would just have to like log into the web app for it, but it's not a problem. Why do you have to log into the web app for quick sell recovery? Even that is stupid, isn't it? Right, 284 plus here. No tots again. Bardi and Berardi. An 81-11. Regular. Yeah. Yes, it is a blue. Come on. Portugal. Centre back. It's a Ruben Dish. It's a massive one. It's one of the best ones. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, have another one in here. Let, let it be an Arsenal player. Come on, man. That is a lovely pull to get. Oh, I was getting... I was getting... Oh, I really thought it wasn't going to happen. I really thought it wasn't going to happen. But he, for the way I play this game right now as well. Oh, I am so happy with that. That is delightful. Oh, let's go. Aaron Ramsdale as well. Come on. A one minute. I didn't think he was that expensive. That's mad. That's mad. That is an insane setup. Let's go. Aaron Ramsdale as well is lovely. Ruben Dish is crazy. Let's go, man. Oh, thank God for that. I really thought we were going to rip through all of those packs and not hit any. We then get two in a pack and an incredible one with that. And we've still got the 81 plus 11 Premier League players pack, which is probably not going to contain a Premier League player now or a team of the season. All right. Premier League pack. Here we go. Come on. Give us another one. Give us another one. No, I just had a feeling. I had a feeling it wasn't. Oh, that's nice, though, man. That is nice. EA gave us a craft to glory for the Premier League team of the season. I do hope that that is a nod to the road to glories and draft to glory that have been going on for so many years. And with some incredible bronze and silver upgrades and some team of the seasons being in those packs and some incredible rewards for completing them, we absolutely had to build them all. I won't show you every pack that I opened to complete this, but the upgrade grind was brilliant. And here's hoping that we get more of this in the coming weeks. All right, let's go and see what team we can build now. Ramsdale obviously goes in goal. Oh, a bit stupid doing below now. But Ruben Dish goes in over Gertruda. That's not bad for chemistry. And then if we were playing 3-5-2 there, he's going to be our left back. But I could go and get Zinchenko, right? I think I can afford Zinchenko. I don't know exactly how much he is. Oh, can Hancho go, Hans Hansko go left back? All right, that's nice. Guerrero on the bench. That, that means we'll play three at the back with... Danilo in at DM. And we'll have Declan Rice and Kochu as the DMs. All right. So while whilst we play with this team in qualifiers, we should honestly be completing Watkins. Score seven goals from players using in the Premier League. Done. Score and assist with attackers with minimum 80 shooting. Done. A six six goals with English players. Maybe I don't have enough English players. That what that might be the one that I have to just go into a score battles game to complete. Three goals from outside the box and win eight games. So obviously I'm just going to play out hard on qualifiers to try and get this Watkins, which will also give us the win eight and play 15 here, which will give us enough XP to get uh, Kaiseido, which now I'm starting to think actually, do I need this Kaiseido? Three star, three star, high, high, but... It might be the 1583 that's more valuable now just because I already have so many good Premier League players. So into the qualifiers we went, guys, and the first game included the first wonder goal from our brand new centre-back, Ruben Dish. An insane overhead kick from him on his debut. And after a couple of fairly comfortable wins, we unfortunately got a draw quitter after getting ourselves back into the game at 4-4 with a sensational banger from Kochu. And after finding that I was 5-1 down in the next game after 47 minutes, I hit the comeback of absolute dreams, forcing my way through to a penalty shootout, which of course I won comfortably because I am insane at penalties.
A much simpler game in the fifth, guys, took us to 5-0. and And after that, we decided to check what objectives we had completed. Finishing mastery. Ugh, nobody even cares about that. But what we have got is this. Now, I was so dead set on taking Caicedo because I've got a Premier League team. And the truth of the matter is, I think Caicedo does upgrade my team. We will do the pack for the content. But only because I got Declan Rice. If I didn't get Declan Rice... I wouldn't be doing a pack for the content. We're going to have three team of the seasons in this. We're going to have an Arsenal team of the season. That's what we're going to have. Ah, oh, here it is. 15, 83 plus players. Come on, Ace. Show me that blue. I knew I should have taken Kaiseido. This is your guy's fault. Oh, all right. Using the fodder from the incredibly underwhelming 15 by 83. We did go and complete the icon Roy Keane. He was going to be an integral part in this midfield that really needed that big man and that constant presence in the midfield. And that means, you know what? I think Joe Linton's going to go up front and I think Kewell's going to come out of the team because he's just garbage. After one nice and easy win after a raid of Thunderbolt, we did come up against a super super team but it was very evident very very quickly that this guy was a hacker he had 99 stats five star five star green time shots and it proved to be incredibly incredibly difficult if only i'd had full screen mode on this time i would have been able to kick him out of the game no problem at all and then after being completely rattled as i get after losing that game we ended up winning only one more of the next three and that left us Seven and three against one cheater as well. It's not, not the end of the world. It's not too bad. Like, we got qualified. That's all good. All right, guys. So, after qualifying, I did complete Ollie Watkins. I went and did one squad battles game to get him polished off. I need two more wins to finish the team of the season, the Premier League team of the season cup, which will, again, give me a Premier League team of the season pack. But before that, we've got the one of three EFL young player of the season player picks. And there's some good options here. Shamadu, Mamba, or Scott. And uh, Scott with a five-star, four-star is quite nice. Mamba. Three-star, five-star. He's nice, man. With Declan Rice for us, the English links. Do I need an attacking player? Not really. I'm going to go for Mamba. And we've now got Ollie Watkins and Mamba to pop into the team for the champs run, which is going to come after we finish Premier League Cup. Craft Glory did give us two absolutely phenomenal back-to-back -back packs with an N'Golo Kante from a Premier League upgrade and a 91 rated team of the season keeper from a bronze pack. All right, we have got the guaranteed team of the season Premier League pack now. I don't know where it's going to sit in the pack, so I might have to open a few other 81s and stuff like that to get there. But the Premier League Cup is donezo. And hopefully, it just, just just don't give me Ramsdale or Ruben Dish, right? Give me somebody I don't already have, please. That's all I'm looking for. Somebody I don't already have. Oh, I knew it wasn't going to be here. All right, let's get some two red golds open. Who am I hoping to get for it? Like, any Arsenal player that I don't have, I'll take Odegaard. I'll take Saka. I'll take Martinelli. I'll take Zinchenko. Um, basically, just somebody that we don't already have. And then, of course, like any of the actual big dogs. There's not really many L's there, like, to be fair. Um, there's not many. There's not too many L's in the pack. The only the only L would actually be a duplicate. Um, so Ramsdale or Ruben Diaz. I think they're the only ones I've got at the moment from the actual Premier League team of the season. They, they would be the only L's. All right, here we go. Premier League team of the season player pack. Come on. Come on. An attacker would be superb. It's a proper team of the season. England. Striker. Oh, my days. It's Harry Kane. Now, that is legit. He definitely fits the way I play this, this game. How is he so cheap, man? For a card this good. It's three-star skill moves. Sucks, obviously. 6-2. Man, how is he so cheap? I don't understand. Let's go. I'm delighted with that. All right, let's get the um, the actual team back in and back together. I think Kochu has Cam, doesn't he? Yeah, so we could start Joe Linton at centre mid, Kochu at Cam, and then play Joe Linton. Oh, see, I've just got too many defensive players. 
Havertz SBC. I probably could with, with like Vigoro and Lindelof and stuff. I probably could do Kai Havertz. So I don't use Lampard anyway. That goalkeeper I got out of the silver pack. I don't like Harry Kuehl at all. Look at that, man. For a card that should be insane. He's like not insane, but good enough. Darwin Nunez as well, I don't like. And now that I've got Kane and Watkins, I don't need. So the only player that I might come to regret here is Bilo. But it's a goalkeeper. We've also got an 86 rated squad that needs a team of the season or a team of the week. Uh, we're going to have to buy this squad mostly, I think. Ah, oh, happy days. I don't even need to go and buy anyone else. Perfect. That is Kai Havertz done and dusted. That's another, I think that's another good player for the team, man, to be fair. Him, Kane and Watkins up front with the five-star weak foots on the Watkins and Kane. This is the team. We've been on this account for a little over a week. Oh, just, do you know what I mean? Just like, what, what, what would I actually be happy with? I think 14. 11 the bare minimum, but 14 for that pack. <clears throat> 16. 16 would be like, with a team like this, 16 would be like, probably like max. I don't think I could do much better. Like, I'd need a, a much better team to get more than 16, I think. I, I, I honestly think whether we get 14 or 16 Welcome will depend on, on how many cheaters we come up against. As you'll see, guys, how many cheaters we were coming up against was going to be very valuable to how many wins we could have got for this weekend league. However, after racing to three wins and no losses, including the ever-present KSI kickoff glitch, that's right, it is fully back. And I mean fully back also became very apparent in these early games is just how good team of the season Harry Kane was. As an Arsenal fan, it's always hard giving props to the Spurs players in FIFA, but whether it was a red time shot, a header, a volley, the five-star weak foot shot, everything flew in with Harry Kane. With his goals, we got to 8-1 and one before taking another really tough loss, which as per usual, I took with my good grace. Keeper, keeper, for sakes, man! Come when I ask you, that's two times! How am I losing to this guy? After cranking out some more bronze, silver, and gold upgrades, we had our first big reward from Craft to Glory. Yeah, there you go. So there's 1181. So I'm two away from that and nine away from getting Matoma. Damn, nine. How am I going to get the rare golds for that? All right, come on, EA. This is where we get the blue. Come on. This is where we get the blue. Come on. Big blue for us. Ah, it's the man of the match. Lindelof as well. That's tough. All right. Another 81 by 11. Come on. Bless us, EA, please. Yes, come on. England. Right back. Trippier. Damn it. Also cool. Like, he goes into the team, I think. So, that's all right, I suppose. Mate, he's so cheap. I could have just bought him. Could have just bought him. Would have been nice if that was uh, Kairo Saka. And with the final bronze and silver upgrades we polished off the last few Premier League upgrades needed to complete after glory. Hey, Premier League player. Come on, I deserve a team of the season out of these, man. Oh, let's go! Norway. Sentiment. I, I'll take it. I will take it. Mr. Martin Erdegaard. Let's go. Finally. Man, could you imagine if that was Holland? Premium Premier League upgrade. We'll open this last one here. And then we'll go and get Matoma and Okocha and Palinia. And then we'll rejig re the team for the last 10 games. Here we go. Go on. End us off with the Premier League tots here. Why not? Okay. Don't worry about it then. Here it is. We've got JJ Okocha. Who, to be fair, is just going to be fodder for whatever the next thing I do is. We don't really care too much about him. And then we've got the Craft to Glory team of the seasons. This was brilliant from EA. We've got Palhinia and Mitoma. And now our, our team is honestly like... Hopefully, going to be in a really strong spot. I think Palhinia is going to be replacing Keane as well. And Matoma's going to have to find his way into my right mid spot. Here we've got Getruda, Ruben Dijs and Hansko in defence. Rice and Palhinia at DM. Trippier and Odegaard on the wings. Way better. Way better. It does mean that Matoma doesn't get into the team. But he'll be a great sub with that pace. Joe Linton no longer gets in the team. I don't actually mind. He's a bit he's a bit meh, to be fair. He's a bit meh. This guy is gonna be a hacker, isn't he? Is he hacking or something? I, I don't know, mate. What do you think? Yeah. Despite scoring an absolute worldie, I took unfortunately another loss. 
to another hacker. However, this was most definitely the final straw. After not playing in windowed mode up until this point because of the way that I was recording the content, I decided to make the change because when you play in windowed mode, you can just pause and tab out and if you're against a hacker, it will kick them out and let you carry on without losing a game. I finally decided to make the change and up against our first cheater, it worked like a charm. If this works, I'll be so happy. Yeah, it worked. I don't mind it if it's up against the AI because I'll score a goal and then do that. With the change being made, we was 11 and 3 and so getting those 14 wins and getting that team of the season pack was still on the cards and with Harry Kane doing absolute wonders and no more losses coming to the cheaters that we were coming up against and in fact maybe some wins as well 16 was still a possibility although I was quite surprised at just how many cheaters we came up against our high elo it was more cheaters than actual players and I think it's because the cheaters get to a high elo as well which means almost every game was against the cheater our first ai cheater came in which is fantastic because as soon as we score that goal we can hit the pause and basically get a free win and secure the 14 wins with the guaranteed team of the season pack harry kane scored a few more fantastic goals that got us to 15 wins and we just needed one more win from the last two games to hit an unexpected 16 wins all right 15 and 3 guys can we get one win out of these next two games AI, yeah, AI cheater right now would be, <laughs> would be legit, wouldn't it? Right, Rio Cuarte FC. That's a cheater's name if ever I've seen one. It's a cheater. It's an AI cheater as well, guys. We just got to make uh, the chances that we are going to get count. Like that. <laughs> like that. You animal, mate, mate, like, I'll beat you, I don't care. I can't, I, mate, give yourself an invisible team. I still slap, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. 20 and 0 next week, no do a boot it. It's the early games that are easier, the harder, sorry. It's the early games that are harder. Game three and four were like the most difficult games. Let's go, 16 and three. On a one week old RTG. Ah, Kane Card carrying, mate. He's, he's honestly the best player I've played with this year. Let's get this last game in. Let's get these reward days in. All right, Foot Champs rewards, baby. Rank three, let's go. Man, if I can get rank three here, imagine what I could do on my proper team. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. We get three player picks, two one and four Premier League tots. I just need those Arsenal boys and a Premier League tots three player pack. I'm going to save the 100Ks. Sorry, the ultimate pack and the 50Ks are going to be saved for the Bundesliga team of the season. EA. Let's hook it up, bros. We're taking 87 Goretzka. Give me a team of the season out of this. Come on. We deserve. We deserve. 89 Mares is all right. Give me a team of the season out of this. 89 Mares is all right. I don't have anywhere to put him, though, so I'm going to take Verratti. All right, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Martinelli and Saka are priorities number one and two. Martinelli and Saka. Damn it. I'm going to take Zinchenko. Because he's the Arsenal boy there. And I've already got an untradeable Kane. So we will go with Zinni. And then number two. Come on, Martinelli or Saka EA. Come on. Come on. Yes! Come on. Look at that for a choice. You want some Arsenal? Do you want some Arsenal? Let's go. Let's go. Gabby Martinelli, my goat, baby. Let's go. Mate, we've got Erdegaard. We've got Ramsdale. We've got Zinchenko already. I'm only missing Saliba and Saka. Let's go. 
Gabby Martin. I'm so happy with that. But he's going to be a delight to play with. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Let's go. Come on. And then a three team of the season pack. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is tradable. Oh, damn. I forgot this is tradable because I'm a 16 win kind of guy. Yeah. Damn. I would like, please, Saka and Saliba. Give me the full set. Give me the full set. England, right wing, striker, Harry Kane. Nice. Because that means Saliba and Saka can still be in this pack. Come on. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. But I should be able to buy one of them now, right? Damn, I feel like that Casemiro could be a beast. 6-1, four-star weak field with stats like that. Casemiro is not 200k. Casemiro is 75. Zinchenko's like 50. That's like 125. And then Harry Kane on top. 225, 230. And I've got 100 and some odd in there. Zinchenko's so cheap, man. Literally like 50k for Zinchenko. And then Casemiro. I'm, I'm tempted to play with Casemiro, but I also have a lot of good DMs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold him for now. Casemiro over Rice. Casemiro's got same pace, more shooting, more defending, way more physical, less defending and passing, but actually the passing is like quite similar. You're using Palinio and Casemiro, Dave. I, I, I do like Casemiro because he's got that four-star weak foot as well. And now I think we're going to have to go to like a full Premier League setup. Martinelli's going to go in there. All right, guys, so that is the team at the end of the Premier League team of the season. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up and we'll see you next week for the Bundesliga team of the season, Road to Glory.